We're going to be taking a deep dive into the brand new Ape Labs coin bank. Now, this mounting bracket is designed to work with the Ape Labs coin light. If you don't know what an Ape coin is, it's one of these little guys right here. This is a 15 watt RGBW LED light. It's made out of lightweight aluminum. It only weighs 0.66 pounds. It is splash proof and can be powered by any standard USB pack. It has music mode. It can be controlled through wireless DMX with the W app or the RF Ape Labs remote. These things are so cool. You can literally put them anywhere. It has a crazy strong magnetic base, a ton of other accessories like a swivel mount. Really, the options are endless with this thing. And now the coin bank has brought the creativity with the Ape coin to another level. One last thing about the Ape coin, I almost forgot to say that there are literally no buttons on this so if you just pick up a solo coin you're not going to have any way to control it unless you already own an ape labs rf remote so if you're just picking up some coins to experiment with them remember you also have to grab one of these otherwise there's no way to control this fixture these also work with the w app and if you have an rf remote from any of the other ape labs products let's just say you own some maxis or ape sticks you can use that remote with the coins but if you're just picking up one of these you have to grab one of these or you're going to have no way to unlock the colors and the music mode and everything else that this little thing does. So remember, you gotta get both of these. Let's get to the star of this product review. This right here, folks, is the Ape Labs coin bank. And this is designed to work with three of the Ape Labs coin lights. Essentially, it turns the coin lights into a 45 watt architectural, did I say that word? Arch architectural, we're gonna go with the architectural fixture that allows you to change the angles and come up with beautiful patterns that you wouldn't otherwise be able to do with just having the coin light affixed to a surface. This unlocks so much creativity with these little lights. It's amazing. This is made out of high quality metal. I think it's steel. It has a very robust construction. This thing feels pretty much unbreakable and it weighs about two pounds. So without further ado, let's dive into this. I'm going to show you all the features. I'm going to give you a couple of examples of how beautiful the lighting is. I'm going to run it in music mode. I'm even going to compare this to an ape can, which I often get asked, what is the difference between a coin light and an ape can? Essentially, the ape cans have batteries on the base and they have a little bit of a stand with them. This needs a battery pack and it's literally just the light fixture. There's no tall base. So this is a great option for these little lights. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Ape Labs coin bank. For today's product walkthrough, we're going to call this entire top piece the wing, and we're going to call these end pieces the arms. Now both the wing and the arms are completely adjustable with their pitch so that you can change the beam angle of the coin light. Adjustments for the coin bank are in 7.5 degree increments represented by each one of these notches right here. So obviously this is at zero degrees. If we move it one hole down, it is now a 7.5 degree bend. Now we are at a 15 degree angle and the last one is a 22.5 degree pitch. We can make a similar adjustment for the entire wing. So if we look at the underneath, you'll notice similar notches right there. I simply grab the wing, pull out a little bit, and then I can pitch this all the way to the right or pitch this all the way to the left in addition to being able to adjust the arms. The combinations are ridiculous, and that's also not including the options you have with the coin itself, from putting it in music mode, to a static color, to a slow fade. You can get crazy creative with the coin bank. Now let's talk about the three optional interchangeable lenses that completely change the look of the beam angle. On the first coin here, I have a 170 degree frost lens, which is great for just general eye candy or a short throw wash. 
on the second coin here. I hope I pronounce this correctly. I believe this is called a Fresnel lens, and this is a unique 65 degree effect lens that is great for uplighting dance floors and gives that beautiful V shape. And on the last coin right here, this is a 10 degree lens, which is great for a traditional uplighting look or spotlighting, and it makes the beam much more focused. Swapping out the lens is really easy and literally only takes a few seconds. So all you have to do is unscrew the lens that is on the ape coin, grab whichever lens you want, and it literally pops on and secures with ease. And now we have a completely different look with a different lens. Since I have all three different lenses installed, let me turn these on so you can see the difference in the look between the frosted, the Fresnel, and the 10 degree lens. The coins attach like so with their magnetic base and it attaches so securely that I can literally pick up this whole entire fixture with the strength of the magnet on the bottom of the ape coin. Next, we take the power pack and we have to put it on the inside of the coin bank. So I'm gonna rotate this, and then with this open slot, I'm going to slide this in like so. And then now I'm going to close that drawer so now the power bank doesn't fall out of the coin bank. Now I have to connect the coins to the power bank. Now, this is a little bit of a pain because you kind of have to fish these in so that they tuck in nice and neat so that when you turn this around, it's a beautiful clean fixture and you don't see any loose wires. Now, because this is kind of a pain, um, I would buy three coins and just dedicate it to the coin bank. Meaning if you want coins for other things such as totems or pin spotting something, I would buy additional coins so that you don't have to undo these every time. Now you can, it's not that difficult, but since I'm taking the time to kind of nestle these in and make them nice and tidy, I think I'm just going to leave these attached to the coin bank base. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is plug in the splitter and plug that in like so. So now I have the splitter plugged in. So now I have to plug the coins into the physical bank. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this first coin, I will fish it behind like so. If you have big fingers, this may be a little bit of a challenge. So now that wire will be nice and uh, tucked away. And then now I can plug that into the coin bank like so. Oh, now we have that USB thing where you flip the direction three times and it never goes in. And then on your third time, it actually plugs in. All right, so there we go. So now our first coin has power and you can see that that wire is run nice and clean through the bottom. Let's talk about customizing the look of the coin bank. It goes without saying that these coins work with the Ape Labs RF remote like any other of their fixtures. The remote is really basic. I'm not gonna take time to explain how this works. There's also a ton of other videos on it, but these do work with the Ape Labs remote. Now, what I do wanna talk about is the W app right here. And if you're not familiar with this, this thing is amazing. So essentially, this is a wireless DMX Bluetooth transceiver. So this box right here will communicate with any Ape Labs fixture. Now, for today's purposes, because we're talking about the coin bank, I am just gonna be using this with some coins, but again, this will literally work with anything. Ape Labs offers the W app for both Android and iOS. Now I have my iPad pulled up right here. So now let's have some fun with these lights. So right now I have them in blackout mode and I have all the groups selected at the top. Now a group is however you pair these. So this would be group one, this is group two, and this is group three. Now I could have all of these as group one, all of these as group two, or all of these as group three. It's really however you want to assign this. So if I tap blackout, all the lights are now gonna turn on. And if I want to customize the color of my first coin, I simply tap 
number one. And then I can drag this throughout the color wheel to change this to any color that I want. If I want to change the color of the second coin, I simply tap number two. And once again, I can drag this to any color that I want and so on and so forth. And now I'll change the look of the third coin. I can also uh, change them all together at the same time. So here I'm now going to change the brightness of all three coins and I can also change the speed. Now I can do this individually for each coin again. So if I come back to one, I can dim the first fixture. I can make the second fixture flash and then I can move the third one to half brightness. Literally, you can do anything that you want. I actually cleaned off a shelf in my bedroom. It was the only blank wall in the entire house. So I can show you some of the unique patterns and looks that you can achieve with the coin bank. Now what I'm showing you is just a microcosm of the combinations you can do. So let's take a look at some lighting examples that I set up right in my very own room. Now, let's look at the different pitch angles of the coin bank. I'm now ready to show you how dope this thing looks with music mode. Now, if you're not familiar with music mode, it is much different than your standard sound active on most lights. It gives you a DMX look without the need to DMX anything. It coordinates with the music, it gives you unique patterns, and it's just fantastic. So let's check out the coin bank in music mode. my dragon board falcor facade set up in my garage i have a wedding on saturday hence all the gear that i have ready to get packed and i was really curious how the coin bank would look so this is 
the pattern that shows on the front, I can tell you it looks way better in person, everybody, but you get the general idea here. I am gonna offer one criticism. Not a fan of the chrome finish on this, this polished metal look. It is already filthy from me doing this review. It's got fingerprints all over it. It looks greasy. I'm not even sure if you can see what I see on here. And I also think I have a scratch somewhere already on this. So again, it's really durable, but I think this would have been a lot better with the black that they used on the inside this doesn't look all fingerprinty or dirty so obviously they have the ability to make a black metal i kind of wish this whole thing was just black i'm sure they have a reason why they didn't do that um i think what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna get a custom vinyl decal made and i'm just gonna stick that to the front of this and turn this to kind of a matte black so that it blends into my surroundings or maybe i'll also get one in white i don't know i have to decide but i am not a fan of this uh chrome finish it just it looks dirty and it's gonna be a pain to keep clean that's gonna wrap up this review of the Ape Labs coin bank. You can grab one of these for 119 bucks and a coin for, wow, that's really strong, for $86. And together you have a beautiful fixture that gives fantastic architectural light to wherever you can think to put this thing. So I'm gonna be using this at a wedding next Saturday. It's gonna be making its debut. I'm probably planning on putting this behind my facade because I absolutely love the way it looked in the video, but who knows? I'll figure it out when I get to the venue. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave some comments below, message me directly. These things are super cool and available at a bunch of different retailers. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and share this video. And as always, happy mixing DJs, stay safe and stay well.